So I'm going to talk about perception and how thinking about animal perception helped me to discover an important ecological consequence of the global problem of light pollution. Now, our senses, like sight and hearing, are great for helping us move around the world, but we can't sense everything that's dangerous. For example, we can't sense radioactivity. Similarly, it's possible for us to make pollution that we can't sense. So if you have, for an example, on a machine that makes a loud pitch uh, dog whistle kind of sound, then you won't be able to hear it, but all of the dogs in the area will be very disturbed by it. Now, you may have discussed with somebody at some point how perhaps your perception of the color red is their perception of green and vice versa. And the reason we talk about that is because it's impossible to know what it would be like to perceive the world with someone else's eyes and brain. And imagine how much more alien it would be to try and perceive the world as an insect. Well, to help me try and understand what that would be like, I figured out a way how to turn myself into an insect, like in Kafka. And I'm going to do that for you right now. In a moment, I'll turn myself into an African scarab dung beetle. That's a mist kafer that's active at nighttime. And ready? Ah! <laughs> I am now a mist kafer. And the reason is because I can now perceive polarized light. And understanding polarized vision is very easy. It's just like trying to put a chopstick through a mailbox. You just push it through, it goes the right way, but if you do it the wrong way, it gets blocked. And if you've ever worn polarized sunglasses at the beach, then you know when you look out over the water, the glare of the water is blocked, unless you turn your head in the sunglasses and suddenly the glare gets through. Now, the dung beetle is not interested in looking cool at the beach. <laughs> the reason it has polarized vision is to look up in the sky at a thing called the celestial compass. And that's a band of polarized light that stretches from south to north across the sky. And imagine it's any time that the sun or the moon is out. And imagine how useful that would be if you could look up and see a compass any time you wanted to. Now, I study light pollution. That's the light from cities that goes up into the sky and then is scattered back down again. And what I realized is that light pollution is unpolarized, and it's very bright compared to the dim, polarized light of the moon. So we measured the polarization of the sky inside of Berlin and outside of Berlin. And what we realized is that uh, inside of Berlin, anywhere that there's a lot of light pollution, this trick won't work. So the dung beetle is blind to the celestial compass. So what we learned from this is that we should worry about, when we're thinking about pollution and trying to make less of it in the world, we need to perceive the world from an animal's perspective and not just from a human perspective. Thanks. <laughs>